Hey, it's Spencer with Handlebar Labs. Today I've been working on just toying around with some different things in React Native, and something I wanted to try was setting up the React Native debugger. I've never used it before, but wanted to give it a shot. And I don't know why, but I was just having a hell of a time actually setting it up. Um, and I figured, you know, if I was having some issues, maybe someone else would. So I wanted to walk you through the process of actually getting it up and running. Um, there's a blog post that I based a lot of this off of, off of uh, gravitywell.co.uk. React Native Debugger plus Expo equals awesome. And I'll have that link down in the description. Uh, but basically, the React Native Debugger gives us a way to debug Redux actions, uh, the actual UI, and all kinds of different stuff. Um, so yeah, to set it up, first thing we want to do is actually install the React Native Debugger uh, through Brew, through Homebrew. So I've already got it installed here, but that's all set up. The next thing you want to do to actually get it up and running is install uh, this Redux DevTools extension. You don't need this um, if you're not using Redux, but if you're using uh, React Native Debugger, you're probably going to be using Redux because that's a big selling point of it over the traditional um, debugging tools in React Native. So, so to do that, I'm just going to copy this Redux DevTools extension, then I will add that to my project as well. So once that's installed. Everything, all the packages, every everything's installed on the system. We just need to set it up. And I should note that this is actually an app built with uh, Create React Native app. And I think that's where some of the issues I was coming up with were actually coming from. So to make this easy on ourselves, I'm going to add a new script in my package.json. And I'm just going to say debug. And then in here, this is where that blog post I mentioned comes into play. Uh, if we scroll down, this, this blog post is using Expo, which is actually backing uh, React Native, create React Native app. So we can copy this, RN debugger, all of that. Um, check out the blog post for exactly what you should do there. So I'm going to open up a new quote, and then I'm going to say open. Then I'll put single quotes, and then paste this string. And with that set up, that should be good to go. So if I actually do some remote debugging on this right now, so you can see that I'm logging out these different actions as they take place. If I change the current, the base currency, you can see that we're logging out the results. And basically we're going to replace this with the React Native Debugger. Um, so I can actually, I'll turn this off now, stop remote debugging. And one thing I want to do is actually get rid of this logging that I've got set up. And to do that I will go to the file where I'm actually setting up my store make this a bit bigger and then what I want to do is actually import this uh, compose with dev tools from Redux dev tools extension which we installed previously and since we're not using this logger anymore I can get rid of these lines and then basically I just want to take this compose with dev tools and wrap this apply middleware uh, so wherever you're setting up the middleware for your uh, react native application uh, save this so that should all be set up and now I think everything will be good to go and if I go to my terminal and I run npm run debug because we set up that script in our package.json this should then go ahead and open up the uh, react native debugger and that's all set up so now I can go here uh, press command D in the iOS simulator to pull up the dev menu I'm going to click debug uh, remote JS and you can see that we're actually getting everything hooked up. Uh, nothing really using the console for, so I'll go ahead and close that with uh, command option I. And you can see in here that you know we've got access to the different components and we can inspect things. And then at the top, and this is the thing that I really like, we've, we've got access to uh, all of these different Redux actions that are actually being emitted. So just like before, if I go ahead and emit different events those will go ahead and log here we can actually inspect them and you can go back and actually if I make this a bit smaller uh, you can go backwards in time and kind of replay these different things and see how the state's changing down here for each one of these and something else that I thought was really cool was actually the chart where you can actually visualize your current state tree um, so yeah, that's how I got the React Native debugger hooked up with an app created with Create React Native app that's actually using Redux behind the scenes. Probably isn't very tricky, but I was struggling with it, so I hope this video helped you.